Hey guys, welcome to my second episode of Talk With Me. Today I'm going to speak about how to deal with a toxic workplace or a toxic work environment and especially the toxic people in that environment. It's coming from a place of experience because I have been in a toxic work environment and also really good work environments and you can definitely feel the difference. So first of all, I believe that we're not really taught in school how to deal with the workplace per se and you're kind of thrown into it once you start working you're faced with all these different types of people all these different types of personalities and it's like how do you understand them and cope with all of that is a lot and it can be a really overwhelming if you're not used to this and you know when you're in school and you've had some kind of conflict there's a way that you're dealt with in terms of the teachers they'll, like, they'll give you detention or you'll get a comment in your journal something but in the workplace, it literally goes from a zero to 10 real quick. What I'm trying to say is, is that you may have a manager or a colleague of yours who, you know, whenever they make a comment, their comments aren't constructive. They're just being horrible. You can, you kind of want to clap back. If you're so used to, you know, not taking no nonsense in the workplace, you can't clap, clap back. You can't be so quick to be reactive because as soon as you do that, you're called negative, you're called aggressive, and all these horrible words, and that it may not be who you are at all, but by your response, they immediately draw that conclusion about you. So it's really, really important to practice the pause. Before you react, think about what you're gonna say. Do not go so quick into reacting with your emotions. Um, because in a way, they may want you to do that. They may want, to, to see that bad side of you or that side of you that isn't even there but then comes out when you're faced in that kind of situation so just practice the pause take a seat back if it helps you know like after a minute or so walk away from your desk just to gather yourself because it can be so stressful and so frustrating that you just want to react so definitely that's something you shouldn't do also remember that you're the light in that team there's a reason for you to in for you being in that team or in that workplace. So just remind yourself and encourage yourself that I'm here for a reason, I'm going to be the best version of myself, I will take on constructive comments and I won't let the negative things affect me, which is so hard to do, especially if it's something constant and the person isn't changing. And if you do see that you're going through that, talk to the person that is doing that in a way that's respectful, so they have no reason to uh, to escalate what your comment or your um, conversation. Take them aside, away from the office floor or the shop floor, wherever your working environment is, and just speak to them on a level, but on a level that you're able to articulate yourself properly without being reactive. I think that's really important because I have been there when I've been so ready to just be like, excuse me, like, literally I just had to bite my tongue and let it bleed <laughs> and just not react so quickly. Um, remember that it's a problem with them, it's not you. If someone's constantly saying something, oh, so-and-so hasn't done this, they haven't done that, constantly throwing you under the bus, like, just take a step back and be like, this person has issues, this, there's something to do with them, it's not me, it's actually their problem, their issue. That will also help you to deal with the um, situation in the workplace. You have to remember not to give so much power to someone else, you know, your colleague, whether you're happy or you're sad. You can't allow them to control your joy in, in the team or your joy in your morning. When you wake, wake up in the morning, you're like, oh my gosh, I've got work today. I'm going to see so and so in the office. I really don't want to see them. And that affects your mood throughout the rest of the day. On it, you have to not allow that to happen because then it can take so many other turns. It can affect your health. It definitely affects your mental state and it can cause stress. So it's about encouraging yourself and blocking out that negative person or that and remind yourself that I'm not going to let this person affect my health or my peace of mind. Okay, so this video isn't about telling you um, what you should do, like go quit your, quit your job because your manager isn't nice that's not what I'm trying to say at all I'm rather showing you how to deal with it and cope um, in this situation especially if it's something that you really want this job is a position you know you're working for a company you've always wanted to work for how do you go through this properly 
Um, and prayer helps. Praying for strength helps. Because you need that divine inform in information. Intervention. <laughs> you need that divine intervention at times. Just to, you know, grab hold of that inner peace. Before you just explode. Not playing. But definitely pray. Pray, pray, pray. You have to remember to be bold when you want to ask a question to your manager who you don't get along with or you feel is picking on you, being mean to you or your colleague who's doing that. You have to be courageous. You have to be bold. Because as soon as you show that you're shy or you're weak or you're afraid, they play on the, they play off of that energy. So it's about, you know, telling yourself I'm confident like what I said in my previous video, affirming yourself, using those affirmations and using that to encourage you, yourself and also just asking the question because what's the worst that can happen? Do you know what I mean? And it's like, it always goes back to it being it's their problem, not mine. I'm going to ask what I need to ask and keep it moving. Thanks so much for watching. I hope that you found these things I've shared useful but I'm just sharing what has helped to me and what's got me through some of these situations and I hope that it does help you too. I just want to say, yeah, remember to be the best version of yourself wherever you are and to show that your kindness and your light in your workplace, in your families, in your homes, whatever. Thank you once again. Bye.